All right, I'm meteorologist John Dawson. You found us on YouTube. I'm glad to hear that. This is the Fox 26 tropical update again focused just for you folks on YouTube. Glad you got here. We're of course on the Fox 26 channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you're always encouraged to do so. There's more than just tropical updates. There's other weather updates and even some news that you could find. It would be fun, but definitely here to talk about the tropics and we're here every day, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time to check in and discuss on what's happening. And the bigger picture shows no real organized or even close to being organized systems across our uh, Atlantic region. And there's some reasons for that. And one of them is going to be the Saharan dust. Look at the, the large batch of this thick dust that has come rolling off the coast of Africa and has really sort of centered itself or just plopping itself right down where you kind of would expect to be looking for some sort of storms to try and get organized. And this is one of those deterrents that kind of slows things down as far as the process. Now, the dust won't completely stop something altogether, but it certainly keeps it from intensifying. And again, less encouraging as far as the actual formation in the organization that would be necessary uh, to sort of get that going. I will say that there is not a lot of dust uh, in or expected to be in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So just a reminder that this Saharan dust is a future cast product that I'm showing you. It's not measuring what is actually there right now. It's just showing you kind of what is there and where it's going more or less. So it's it's forecasting that uh, dust and where it's headed. Not much headed uh, into the Gulf of Mexico, but in the waters, of course, are very, very warm, close to 90 degrees uh, all around. So when you get up closer to the coast, of course, it is even in the 90s, but out in these bigger or more open waters, some very, very warm water uh, to work with. So if anything were to form, uh, it would intensify quite quickly because this is kind of that fuel that's necessary to build up the strength of these storms once they get going, these tropical cyclones. So the warm waters is certainly something that we're concerned with. We would like to see more Saharan dust and less hot water uh, overall that we're dealing with. And if you're in Southeast Texas or really anywhere along the Gulf Coast or the state of Texas, you know how this high pressure ridge has been dominating our weather uh, locally and across the US. Well, also it kind of provides a little bit of protection overall as far as if something were to form. So while this ridge of high pressure has just been relentless and really fighting us on the heat uh, and the lack of rain, we're beginning to see even more of a drought situation. It does help us in the tropical sense that it would help kind of steer or deflect or either just keep clear, uh, not allowing anything to form. So where that ridge of high pressure has its influence over in the east western side of the Gulf, just nothing happening. Even a few storms trying to get organized and over in the Caribbean is also quiet right now, just overall uh, in in a sense of, of where the activity is. So the official messaging from the National Hurricane Center is no tropical cyclone formation expected over the next seven days. So we like that, that's for sure. So it'll be a little quieter here on our updates, but I do want to just talk about a couple things overall. What have we seen so far this year? And we're not completely that far off from a normal year in the sense that we sometimes pick up a, a storm or so in in June and maybe one in July and one in August. So we maybe would have about three storm named storms by the time we get to the beginning of August. And then once we start moving into August, our numbers really begin to spike up a little bit uh, more. So for this season, it's been a little bit unusual in the fact that uh, we actually had a storm that was identified post uh, storm by the National Hurricane Center that happened in January. So that one's kind of hard to track or kind of remember that it was there, but it goes down on the record books as a named storm for 2023, uh, even though it was in January and it wasn't really identified until after a post analysis took place. We've had one hurricane make that a singular form there when I update that graphic next time. Uh, we've had one uh, hurricane so far. That was Don uh, and normally in a whole season. So I'm not talking about just, you know, from 
from the first several months of the year, but for the whole season, we would normally see in a 30 year average 14, seven and three. So we've got a ways to go as far as making up these numbers. If we're trying to get to an average season, as we talked about yesterday, it does look like we'll be at least of an average. So all the outlooks, the forecasts for the year does call for at least at an average season. So we talked about the fact that Dawn was our last named storm. It did become a hurricane, and then we had one that was even before Arlene that was back in January. So that's how we come up with the five that we've had so far. Uh, we'll look for Emily to be the next named storm. I really thought that last, I think it was 96 L that was out in the Atlantic for so long. I really did think it was just going to get organized enough, but not enough for the Hurricane Center to identify it. That's for sure. So still waiting for Emily to be our next named storm. Hey, thanks again for finding us here on YouTube. Uh, this is my social media except for YouTube. If you want to look at my channel for social for for YouTube, search meteorologist John Dawson. That's the best way to find it uh, instead of Fox 26. Go meteorologist John Dawson. Lots of hurricane preparedness videos there for you. Kind of keep you updated on what on ways that you can make sure that you're prepared if you live in a hurricane uh, tropical cyclone prone area. We'll be back here again tomorrow. I hope you find us again right here on YouTube.